Hey Leo, Rising Storm here. So I'm going to be doing your general love reading from now until the end of May. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch the storylines however you would like, alright? So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energies, Leo, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening? And the possible outcome from now until the end of May 2021. So what is going on with my Leos in regards to their love life, please? What can you tell me? Do you mean overall view, your energies, Leo, the person that you are dealing with? Why is it all happening in the possible outcome here? Leo, what is going on with Leo? Okay. Oh, All right, Leo. Your overall view is the sun in reverse. A lot of people are getting the sun in reverse. So you're emotionally unhappy. Someone here is emotionally unhappy or emotionally unstable. You're wanting to talk to this person, but you're not taking any action towards them, Leo. There's somebody here that you're really wanting to communicate with or at least be casual with or be at good terms with, but you're not taking any action. You're not doing the action. Your person has the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Swords. Your person is stuck as fuck. Okay, they're overthinking the situation. Um, there's a lot of negative thoughts. They feel like they can't move in regards to this uh, connection. They're, you know, they're feeling stuck. Uh, Ten of Cups in reverse. So they thought things were going to, you know, expand, grow, uh, but it didn't work out that way. And it was just emotionally draining for them. Why is it all happening? The High Priestess in reverse. So I don't know if there were secrets or something here that was revealed at one point in time. Okay. Is what it's saying. You could be dealing with a Virgo, air sign, or water sign. The Leo. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Tell me about the sun card in reverse. What is this sun card in reverse about? And the four swords. So yeah, you're very unhappy about this separation or about this distance here. Because there's no communication. You could be dealing with the air sign. I'm getting heavy air for some of you. It doesn't have to be though. but Or you could be embodying this energy. But you're very unhappy and an unemotional, you know, you're emotionally unhappy because there is no communication. There's no, there's nothing right now between the two of you. There's distance and stagnation. So tell me about the page of pentacles. Tell me about this page of pentacles. What is this page of pentacles about? You're wanting to talk to this person. The moon in reverse. There's something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there were things that were revealed. Okay, f for some of you, take it how it resonates. I'm getting two reveal cards. The moon in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. So I don't know if there was something that was known or something secret or something that came out to light. But I also feel like you want to let somebody know something. There's something here that you want to come out. You, 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 want, you want to confess or you want to let them know something. You want to communicate with them and come out of this uh, period of isolation. I don't know but you're but at the same time you're not doing that with that queen of wands in reverse so it's like you're not taking any action but you you want to you want you want something to be known or come out i don't know what is this queen of wands in reverse about what is this queen of wands here for tell me about the queen of wands could be done with the pisces for some of you and the king yeah but you're acting cold and detached so one part of you it's kind of like you're wanting to reveal something to someone or you're wanting to come out of silence and speak to this person or let them know something. But then another part of you is kind of like, nope, I'm not going to do this. So it's like, you know, you, you, you take control back. It's like you take control back of how you're feeling in a way. And then you just hold yourself. You think about whatever it is that happened in the past and then you say, fuck it, I'm going to act cold and detached and I'm not going to take any action. So it's kind of like you're you're like going back and forth as well. Um, so tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. What is this? What is this Ten of Cups in reverse about? Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm gonna clarify the Moon in reverse because that kind of like got me. So Four Pentacles. Your person's holding back. They're extremely held back. Okay, they're emotionally kind of like unstable right now, and they're holding back or they're holding on to something that happened. Okay, they're holding on to something that happened. And at the same time, they're holding back because of it. All right, and they're being emotionally. It's like you know, emotionally draining. And this person's stuck as to what to do. They don't know where to go, what to do, how to have. You know. 
they're all up in their head right now and they they just don't know what to do so they're holding back so tell me about the eight of swords what is this eight of swords about clarify this eight of swords for me what is this about what's that about and the five of cups what is this your person is your person is stuck by the same they're stuck but they're feeling bad they're it's kind of like they're at a loss. They lost the situation or they lost this person and they don't know what to do. So they're stuck. So this person is thinking about the past and crying over, you know, uh, what they had or whatever the case may be. Why is that five of cups there? Tell me about the five of cups. Tell me about the five of cups. I'm so sorry about the noise. Tell me about the five of cups, please. Clarify that. And the tower in reverse, they're avoiding a disaster with you, but yet they're they're crying over spilled milk. So it's kind of like this person is stuck in regards to this connection. They don't know what to do. They feel like they rather just disconnect and avoid a disaster or avoid you. But deep down, they're feeling at a loss here. So it's like they lost or they're feeling bad about it. But they are avoiding you because they don't know what to do or they're avoiding a disaster with you why is that high priestess and reverse for what is this high priestess and reverse for please what is that high priestess and reverse for, for why it's all happening and yes yeah, somebody walked away some secrets came out and somebody walked away somebody walked away from this connection because there was something here that was known or found out about i don't know who is who why is that moon in reverse here? Tell me about the moon in reverse. What is this moon in reverse about? You're not making a decision. You want to come out. You want you want to come out and express Ari, um, Leo. You're wanting to come out and express something towards this person, but you're not making a decision to do that. You're holding yourself back from communicating with this person, but yet you're you're not taking any action towards them either. Somebody here knows that they did wrong. Your person is avoiding uh, a disaster with you. You're wanting to communicate with this person, Air, uh, Leo. I don't know why I keep saying you. you could be dealing with an Aries. But at the same time, you're acting like, you know, you're acting cold and detached and you're not really doing anything about it. Why is that Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse here? What is this Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse here? Yeah, and the Nine of Cups is a wish unfulfillment for you. So, you know, this is emotionally draining to you as well, Leo. Maybe you feel like, you know, if you took action towards them, you know, it would, you know, they'll give you the cold shoulder or whatever the case may be. But for some reason, I don't know why you're acting cold and detached, too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so how does Leo see the person that they're dealing with, please? How does Leo see the person that they're dealing with? What can you tell me? The nine of wands. So you see, you see this person as someone who's given up, who's throwing in the towel, who's not fighting for this connection anymore. All right, you could be dealing with fire sign. Why is that nine of wands in reverse? Therefore, and the fool. So you okay? So you view this person that you could be dealing with an Aries. I did, I did say that. You um. You see this person as someone that basically gave up on the connection, and, and and hence why there's a lack of a new beginning. You also view this person as they have trust issues, or you feel like this person has trust issues, or somebody has trust issues, but you see this person as someone who's not fighting for the connection and who's given up, hence why there's no new start between the two of you. So it's like you know they have trust issues, or there's some sort of trust that there's problems with trust. Uh, how does this person uh, see Leo? How does this person see Leo? Somebody here has some strong ass Aries in, in this reading. How does this person see um, see Leo? What can you tell me? They see you as a three of wands, so they see you as someone who's waiting. So they know that you're waiting on communication. Why is the three of wands there? Why the three of wands there? 
and the seven of wands in reverse. So <clears throat> your person sees you as the three of wands, so they know that you're waiting on some sort of communication. So they know this. They know this. But they feel like you're they feel like that you're not fighting for the connection. So they just feel like you're just waiting for communication and you're not fighting for it or you're not doing anything about it. So they see you as someone who is just waiting. They know that you're wanting to communicate with them. But they also see you as someone who's not taking action to do it or at least fight for it. <laughs> so I think your person wants to be chased or your person wants... I think your person wants them... Leo, your person wants you to kind of like run after them. Maybe to like say sorry or whatever the case may be. But they see you as someone who's not doing that. And they know that you're waiting on communication. They're avoiding a disaster with you, but deep down they're feeling bad. Uh, they're feeling bad about this. They don't know what to do. They're stuck. So what's the possible outcome for now until the end of May 2021 in regards to this situation? Please, what can you tell me? What's the possible outcome from now until the end of May for this situation? What's the possible outcome there, please? What's the possible outcome? Temperance, all right. Patience. What is this? What's the outcome? Okay. All right, so I am seeing communication between the two of you. All right, but at the same time, I'm still seeing you guys not being on the same page. So it's like patience, you know, I'm seeing you guys. I'm getting this as like a half ass reconciliation. Still emotionally closed off, not opening up, being distant, uh, not making a decision, still being closed. Uh, the, the, you will hear from one another, but the thing is, is that this could be a very inconsistent or a very in and out connection. There will be some sort of kind of like a reconciliation, but it's half-assed because there's still no balance between the two of you. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Why is all that happening? Why? There's still no balance between, because you could be dealing with Scorpio, because you can't let each other go. So maybe this is like a karmic cycle or whatever the case may be. All right. I'm not really getting the situation out of pure love. This is maybe, maybe you're used to one another or whatever the case may be. You, you know, you have a hard time letting go of this person. You guys will communicate or get to some basic level of, I guess, a reconciliation. But is it like a full reconciliation? No, because it's still half ass and still not balanced. I'm not getting that the love is there anyway. So that was your reading, um, Leo. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.